In the last video, we visited Madrid, Spain. We were only there for a week, and combine that with jet lag and sightseeing, it was really time to slow things down. So we jumped on a bus and took a five hour ride to Seville, Spain, where we will be staying for the next 30 days. In this video, we're going to a bullfight. And here in Seville, it's a pretty popular tradition. But disclaimer, you will see a bull die. So you probably wanna skip this one and come back in the next video. I didn't even know that the bull died until I started doing my research to make this video. But for those of you who want to stick around, let's learn about the Spanish tradition of bullfighting. Bullfighting industry is big business. There's bullfighting schools, places where you breed the bulls, the costume design, tons of staff that work at the ranches and at the venues where they fight the bull. And bullfighting has been here in Spain for a really, really long time. There is a lot of controversy around bullfighting. Some believe it to be a historical, artistic heritage and good for the economy, while others believe it to be a cruel, barbaric act that has no place in today's world. Bullfighting is not for everyone, but for some, it represents honor and art. Honestly, I could see it in tomorrow, but in order to experience the Sebiano culture, I need to go to one. I bought my ticket online at tequilaofficial.com and selected my seat. Tickets can run anywhere between $40 and $200. It really depends on the seat and if it's in the shade. Shaded seats are more expensive. You know, I don't really know what to wear. Some people dress up in nice suits and hats and dresses and stuff, and other people are more casual. Now, I don't have a lot, so I guess I'm just gonna wear the fanciest thing I own. This is about as good as it gets. What do you think, look okay? I wanted to understand what I was about to experience, so I had to do a little research to understand what was about to happen. So the president has the highest authority in the bull ring and ensures that the bullfighting legislation is followed. Kind of like a referee. So it looks like I'm about a 16 minute walk from the ring. streets are so narrow when a car comes through you really have to squeeze up against a building kind of like this I'll show you Okay, so I'm really glad I got here early because it took me forever to find my ticket. I came to the stadium first and I went to the ticket booth and they told me my confirmation was not for them and I didn't belong there, I had to go somewhere else. She told me to call a number or something and there was a language barrier there, we couldn't really understand each other. But I looked at my confirmation again and it told me to go to a restaurant across the street. This restaurant here and I met a guy and he gave me my ticket. So now I'm gonna go back to the stadium and see if I can get in. It looks like one side of the ring, the doors are even and the other side's odd. So I'm on the wrong side. I'm gonna walk over and man, it's hot out here. I need to get my hat. And I am door number 15, which I believe is right over there. I guess I accidentally bought my ticket from a third party provider because I had to walk across the street to the restaurant and pick it up and then when I got here and they scanned it, it didn't work. So they were trying to figure out why because the ticket looked valid but it didn't show up on their system. But they let me in anyway and they showed me to my seat. Hopefully no one else comes in and says that I'm sitting in their spot. After looking at my ticket when I got here, it says that it was 46 euros and I paid like $75 for this. So maybe don't make the same mistakes I make and buy it through an official vendor. But I thought I was going through an official place. I just, I wasn't. So one more thing. 
ticket prices vary greatly. Vary based on the seat that you select and whether you are in the sun or in the shade. And clearly, I'm in the sun. I'm gonna be fried by the end of this fight. Maybe it's what I deserve. So I'm glad I found my seat, but I got here early in case, you know, I had to figure some things out, which I did. But it is baking hot out there, and I'm a bald guy. So I'm gonna get burnt up. I'm gonna hang out in this little corridor until the fight starts, which is promptly at six. So they give you this guide. And I guess it talks about the bullfight, but it's all in Spanish. So I'm gonna act like I understand what I'm reading. Two circle lines are indicators of correct distance for the picador to perform. So that's the matter. Their goal is to immobilize or kill the bull. They're arranged from right to left, right being the most skilled, middle, novice, and left, intermediate. The top matadors in Spain are treated and paid like rock stars. Some of them earn up to $100,000 a bullfight, and they can perform 30 or 40 times a year. So the way I understand it, a bullfight has three stages. The first stage is when the bull is let into the ring and the matador sizes up his opponent with a large, dark blue cape. During the first stage, horsemen, also known as picadores, use long, sharp lances to weaken the bull's shoulders so that his head will eventually drop, making it easier to kill for the matador. The second stage has assistants called banderillos, I'm probably butchering that, but they have darts where they want to pick the bull. These bullfighters sink colorful darts into the bull, which will further weaken him for the matador. This is far from a fair fight, but it's not supposed to be a fair fight. Final stage, the matador will show passes at the bull with a vivid red cape called a muleta. The color of the cape doesn't really matter. The bull is colorblind, but red is traditional and it doesn't show blood. The matador has 15 minutes to carry out his performance. And if he doesn't finish then, then he must withdraw and the bull is returned to the pen for slaughter. That's not happening today. Finally, the moment of truth. Close your eyes if you must. The matador will plunge his sword between the bull's shoulders. And if it was a successful blow, the animal will immediately drop dead and is pulled out of the ring for slaughter.
I guess the biggest thing that I've learned during my research is that bullfighting is not a sport at all. It's an art form and it's Spanish tradition. Bullfighting is not meant to be fair. It's supposed to be unfair. It's a beautiful tragedy. You were supposed to be moved and emotional, not only for the movements of the matador, but also by the brave, fierce animal. If the matador completes his performance, the bull dies. The matador gets hurt and can't finish. He was replaced by the second matador and then the third. So the bull dies. If the bull has hurt all three matadors, then the bull is led back to the stable and shot immediately because he is too dangerous for people and other animals. The bull dies. If the matador doesn't finish the performance, the bull dies. The only way a bull survives is if the audience starts waving white napkins, and at that point, the president can spare the bull's life. This is extremely rare, Sparing the bull is a great honor. The bull will never fight again and will be returned to the ranch owner to live like a king, only to stud and eat the best food.